What's going on, Ghost of the Roasted Family? Uh, <laughs> y'all's co-host is getting on my nerves <laughs> early this morning. <laughs> I just want to let y'all know that. You didn't even let me finish pushing my piece of hair exactly. in my bun. Exactly. Because you were rushing. Somebody. Good morning, no, Ghost of the Roasted. We have been to talk about it. This is my therapy session every twice a week. Stacy has been rushing me. Let me tell y'all where it all started from. But why am I rushing you? Let me tell y'all where it all because, started from. Because Doughboy Harlem Hops has training today, which we'll see if he participates. Um, y'all, Doughboy Har Harlem Hops, September 22nd, Atlanta, Georgia. Love, love, love. We, this is my we baby. know who won't be participating. Let me tell you what, what the what the problem really is, y'all. <laughs> and y'all just tip, before we hop into this video, I need some relationship advice. Well, first of all, we didn't even do a welcome. What's up, y'all? I'm Stacy, one of the co-hosts of Ghosted or Roasted. My husband just came right in venting. Y'all see how she keeps trying to change the subject? So that's all how right. y'all know. Let's get into it. <laughs> that's how y'all know <laughs> who's right and who's wrong. Let's get into it. But it's okay. I forgive you. I didn't ask. For your forgiveness. First clip, let's get on into it. <laughs> it's around 9 p.m. on a Friday night oh, when two Lord. sisters are settling in for the evening. During this time, their See mom that? had gone out to walk their dog as she does every night. But while both sisters are alone at home, something happens that leaves them extremely unsettled. Now the mother in question, known as Isabel Katz, had sent me this video in the hopes that someone could explain her footage. She and her kids live in a house that might be haunted, according to her. Strange things often happen, and she doesn't know what to do. From a sliding cabinet door that is often found open after being closed shut, to mysterious noises heard at night, Isabel is certain that something unexplainable is happening. One night, while Isabel walks the family dog, her two children are alone at home when this is captured. But why didn't the sister get up and look? She did. That was right there. Look. No, that wasn't the older sister. That was the older sister. See? She <laughs> It was after watching this video that their mother knew something paranormal had occurred. At first, one of her children sees something that terrifies them beyond belief. According to her, she had seen what looked like a tall figure standing inside the master bedroom. It wasn't exactly clear as her daughter states, but she knew something was there. And her sister can attest to this, as she too had seen something tall inside the room. Following that, the sound of their cabinet door sliding open is heard on camera. Understandably, the whole family was freaked out, if not spooked, by this incident. Not much else is known about this clip, but Isabel hopes that someone could explain her footage, as she's not sure what to do or what was caught on camera. That clip pissed me off. I was thinking something was going to appear like I was zoned in. And then we heard a cabinet door. See, I'm going to I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop playing child clips because I feel like I can't say what I want to say because it's a children involved. That's right. Because children are involved. And apparently kids are off limits on Ghost and Rose. They are off limits when you can see them. 
Only when you can see them. Yes, we did. We're we going to keep going back to that clip. Okay, I'm sorry. So. This clip pissed me off. The way that baby screamed. And then I didn't realize that her sister did come and look and she slammed the door. And then you do hear the, the sliding cabinet and nobody else was home, supposedly. I'm sorry, y'all. I got to roast it. I got to roast it. There's nothing in that clip that makes me believe anything. Right. Nothing. Right. Okay, the kids can act. You got two good actresses in your family. Mm. Kudos to y'all. Okay, so you're roasting it. I'm roasting it. Yeah, I'm going to roast it also. I, I thought there was going to be more. I thought we were going to see something. Your expectations were let down. Like, even if I would have seen the cabinet door, I did hear it. But if I would have seen it. Or a shadow figure. Yeah, I thought I was going to see a shadow come across the camera. One of the kids getting, walking out nicely. Why? Well, I wonder why the camera was placed right there. Right. Look at you thinking like a debunker. One time for the bunker later. One time for the bunker later. One time for the bunker later. One time for the debunker later. How you make them balloons come down again? No. How you do it? Oh, it just knows it's the end. I know, right? So the, the, the camera, yeah, the camera placement was a little weird for me. Like it was just random for watching your kids. I feel like it was really random. Seems like it would have been on both rooms, like up high where you could see your kids come up the stairs and one go left, one go right. Well, the the room to the right is the master bedroom. That's where that's the boom boom room. So I'm pretty sure they probably want to add no camera. Over there. Now this next video comes from Jalen Love, who although has no idea what was captured, is extremely unsettled by this footage. She claims that no one else had been in the house except her two sisters, who are seen on camera. They had just come back from somewhere at around 10 p.m. when the security camera inside their living room recorded the following. Now it's worth noting that this isn't the first time something scary had occurred. Only a few weeks prior to this incident, someone broke into their house. It's for this reason that they've set up cameras around their home in case it happens again. But this time, it appears that something else other than a burglar was captured. The two sisters enter inside, leaving the front door open for Jalen, who is still getting out of the car. As Jalen takes her time to come inside, this happens. Behind this door, a dark figure is seen. It's worth pointing out that no one is seen behind the door before it's open. Nothing apparent stands out until something eventually does. Whatever this is just stands there while seemingly hiding itself from the camera, or at least a part of it, as only partially do we see the figure. Seeing this, Jalen and her sisters were freaked out. They state that they wouldn't have seen this if it wasn't for what occurred later that night. According to them, they had heard strange noises coming from downstairs, which made them check their surveillance cameras. But while checking the footage from earlier that night, they see this, a dark silhouette that disappears in the blink of an eye. Like many, she now believes that something unexplainable was captured. But as always, I'll let you be the judge. Was a ghost caught on camera or was... So the man said that the door was left open for the third sister. Okay. But why we didn't ever see the third sister come through the door? You are on a tootsie roll today. <laughs> what? You must have drank your paranormal juice. This, you know what? Daylon. I need you to take a sip of this. Absolutely not. For all of my graveyard shit fans, y'all remember this green poison that was sent to me I in the mail? Get you some paranormal juice. Absolutely. You not. must have drank your paranormal juice this morning. So, I mean, I feel like it should have kept rolling for the third sister to come in. I'm roasting it. Off top or Off roast? Top. I'm roasting. Okay, wait a second. Okay, we're not going to give it no type of... I'm roasting. You can give it whatever you want to give. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. I'm not I'm not trying to change your mind. No, you're not. But, but can I ask you a valid question? Yes. Are you just roasting it because <laughs> the third person didn't come into the house? Probably. Which is fair. Okay, <laughs> cool. Now, let's assume that she did come into the house. Okay. Let's assume that she lost her phone in the car. Okay. Let's assume that maybe she is just sleep. 
I don't know. Let's just assume there's a reason. Okay. They were waiting on her to come, but go ahead. Do we feel like that could be something? Yes. It disappeared quickly. Okay. So I don't understand your answer. If you feel like it could. It could be, but then it could not be. Uh, right? No? What'd you think? I'm ghosting it. You're ghosting it? I'm ghosting it. That's just weird. It disappeared really fast, too. I just don't like when people take phone recordings of a recording. Yeah, why, just, why just, do you It do blows that? me. I'm going to ghost it, though. Okay, I'm still going to roast it because it was a phone recording of a recording and you didn't show the other sister coming in. You left the door open for her, is what he said. Footage from earlier that night, they see this, a dark silhouette that disappears in the blink of an eye. Like many, she... Yeah. I'm ghosting it. All right. Hey, I'm, hey, listen. There we go. I ain't gonna never tell you what clip you can ghost the road. I know you're not. You know what I'm saying? We free thinkers over here, baby. In the following clip, a man is in his basement after having heard a strange noise. Like I was saying earlier, um, most of the stuff does happen down here. Now the man already knows that something isn't right with his basement, which is why he takes this video. Ever since moving in, both he and his family have been experiencing a plethora of inexplicable happenings. But luckily, this time, he was able to get something on camera. The year is 2017, and with only a few months living there, he can already sense that something strange is about to happen. He gets his phone and captures this. The stuff does happen down here. Um, and I mean, you can't really... That's freaky stuff right there, man. <clears throat> and yep, that's what you call. <sighs> I hate that. Freaks me out, man. It's gonna be Uh boy, well, here we go with the door again. So that door always swings wide open and it stays open. It doesn't ever close, stay like that. Up oh, there oh. you go. Let go. Oh crap, that's freaky. Now taking into account that this isn't something new to the man, oh. this occurrence doesn't scare him. I was but he still finds it pretty baffling. Mm -hmm. And he finds it even more so when considering that the door that just opened is extremely heavy. According to him, he can barely open it himself, despite being quite big. Now with happenings like this, one can totally understand why he and his family have left this place. Although taken in 2017 and living somewhere else now, this footage continues to baffle him to this day. I wish he would have walked over. Oh, you wanted him to walk to the guys. <laughs> now I'm just trying to understand your rationale because I couldn't tell what was falling off of the the shelf. Yeah, just to yeah. see how the shelf was built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. to, I'm a ghost it. That door. That and if it's true that the door is extremely heavy, and it's just swinging like that, so easy. I think I'm ghosting that yeah, one. Yeah, I'm going to ghost it also. I'm going to ghost that one. I do wish he would have walked up on. I wanted to see what was falling. You could hear it, but you, I couldn't tell. And that, I got you. I got you, baby. Ghost. My baby. Ghost. We agreed. It. We agreed. It. Is this the same one? On June 4th of 2024, oh, the no. video was taken inside a public restroom where something uh -oh. pretty creepy took place. The man who recorded this is known as Axel Loza, and based on his voice alone, you can tell that he's deeply troubled by something. Axel states that no one else Axel. is in the restroom except him. Now this is odd, considering that he just heard noises coming from one of the stalls, but each one is empty. So, as an attempt to get this on camera, he begins to record and captures this. Estoy, bueno, acabo de terminar de hacer el baño y pues estaba todo normal, pero ahorita están ruidos raros y se está tocando la puerta, pero quiero que vean que pues no hay nada, vean, ahí está mi reflejo, mi reflejo, pero vean de este lado, 
pues aquí no hay nada, ve. Acá tampoco. Vean. Aquí tampoco hay nada. Aquí pues tampoco, vean. Y acá el lugar es bastante pequeño, ya está mi reflejo. Pero a ver, hoy. Escuchar. Escucharon. No hay nada. As if it wasn't already startling to hear the banging noises, we see this, a face suddenly appearing in a skull oh, that was fairly empty. It happens quickly, but not so fast that we miss it. Only do we realize what was seen until after it happens, or at least, that's what happened with Axel. It was only after reviewing the footage that he noticed the face. Just like viewers, he was left terrified by what was caught behind the door. Like something out of a nightmare, a pale face with wide open eyes just disappears without a trace. Now Axel hasn't said much or given updates on this occurrence, but with or without further context, the video itself is still pretty terrifying. Listen. The way that we both just jumped. Stacy. That I ain't gonna lie to you. That one, that no. that's how I like my clips. I was not expecting that. That's how I like my clips in a dirty public bathroom. Say, so that was a good, that was a good one. I like how it built up the suspense. I was ready to talk crap about it. I was getting mad. That would have, yeah, that's, that's, I'm ghosting that. I'm ghosting it. That? Yeah, for sure. That? For sure was the craziest thing I've ever seen. I mean, I got chills. I mean, I was like at a loss for words. That's top three ghosts of the roasted clip re reaction of all time. Because we both, that's only happened a couple times where we've jumped like that. Dalen, Axel saw something in that video clip. That was, that was crazy. You know what I kept thinking about the whole clip? What? Which I couldn't really, I guess which was taking my attention away from it. Cause that was a, a college dorm bathroom, I right? That you said a university, in. yeah, university bathroom. Stacy, I stayed in Brawley. Mm. So Brawley Hall at Clark Atlanta University, there was only one male dorm and like seven girl dorms. So that just lets you know how many girls go to that school and how many guys go there. There was uh, dorms that were both. No, I'm talking about freshmen. Co-ed. Oh, just for freshmen. freshmen. So you have like six or seven girl dorms. So y'all only had Brawley Hall. So we had, there were two when I was there for freshmen, two male dorms. Stacey, you were there. Don't do that. In the 70s. Don't, don't play with me. <laughs> I was not there in the 70s. For y'all that don't know, me and Stacy have a, a, what's it called? A age gap relationship. A age gap relationship. Is that what it's called? A AGR? Babe. We have an age gap, period. Me and my baby are eight years apart. Yes. And so we, but we went to the same college at different times. <laughs> so it's like <laughs> a different world, 10 years apart from each other. So we be talking First of about all, eight years apart. We rounding up. We just rounding up. We are not rounding up. But my baby looked like she's 25, don't she? 28? 30? 30? 39? No, my baby, fine. My baby aging like fine wine, y'all. Look at him. So what mm. happened at Brawley Hall? Stacy, two things that made me never stay in a dorm past my freshman year. I went in there one night. Somebody had took a number two in the sink. Oh, gross. In the sink. Second thing, my homeboy, and I'm not going to say your name, David. This boy... <laughs> He my homeboy now, but back then I thought he was weird. He told me, he was like, he don't put toilet paper on the seat cover. He sit cheek to seat. 
raw cheek deceit. <laughs> I said, David. Mm -mm. I ain't gonna say Why your last would name. You say his name because he deserves his name to be said. Oh, David. Gosh, Dalen Stacy. But his rationale was what was it? Everybody else puts toilet paper down oh, on the so seat. Oh, so it's clean for him. So why would he not if everybody else... I said, boy... Because a lot of people are not, and they... You gonna you, catch the cootie bucks. You use the... bath. People use the bathroom on the toilet. People poo in the sink. What you think they doing on the toilet seat? Who, Anywhere. All who right. cleaned out the poo in the sink? Stacey, it wasn't me. And thank God to whoever did it. You are the real MVP. Oh, that's terrible. What you we ghosted now? Oh no, that's absolutely ghosting. That was ghosted, y'all. I apologize. I got on that little poo tangent, but that was just when I think about that's my college bath, bathroom, them disgusting. the stories that come to mind. Disgusting. Hold on. I got two more. I got two more. You know. In the following video, three friends are alone at home when one friend decides to call their mom after something scary had occurred. I should be home in about 10 minutes. So I need you to stay calm though, okay? Okay. Right. So calm, quiet, keep the door locked. All right, do not go out of the room whatsoever. All three friends are locked up in this room, and for good reason. Earlier, they heard a loud crash from downstairs and other noises emanating from all over the house. They had thought someone had broken in, which is why the police were called. Did it sound like glass? Was it metal? What, what did it sound like? I think it was just like a, a big thud. And then, and so you heard glass shatter? Yeah, yeah. It was kind of mean. Now this is where things started to get strange, because apparently, after searching the whole place, the police found no signs of forced entry or any clues to suggest that someone broke into the house. With no indications of any trespassers, the police leave the property. However, after watching the footage recorded by one of the friends, the teens noticed something very alarming. Before the police arrived, all three friends decided to investigate the noises and presumably take matters into their own hands if needed. But during this time, something happens that prompts the friend who lives in this house to grab his dog and pack his things. They were spooked, to say the least. This is what they caught. Okay, okay, it's fine, okay. Okay, okay. All right, I'll see you soon, I love you. I love you too. Bye-bye. Bye. <laughs> yeah, he about to fight somebody with. So this is after the cops leave. Was it for? One of the friends had noticed something moving in the dark. Although we don't see it on camera, something else is seen that none of the friends had noticed until watching this video much later. In case you missed it, this is what was caught. Logo block. Somebody walked by. Dang, I can't see. Clearly, something can be seen moving behind the railing. In a swift motion, this mysterious object yeah, wow. passes oh, by without see. making a sound. I did it see. almost seems to be floating, given how it seemingly glides. But by far, the creepiest thing about this is that a face can be made out. It's hard to see at first, but watching this again, certain features that a face would have can be seen briefly. Its uncanny motion and closeness to the ground have led the group to believe that a ghost was caught on camera. To them, it looks as though a floating head had passed by. If only they had seen this before the police arrived. As they state, who knows what they would have said about this. 
While the supposed shadowy figure they saw was enough to scare them, this would have definitely scared the living daylights out of them. Now, up until now, there haven't been any updates. But until then, let me know your thoughts on this one. And we can't see. Yeah, you can't really see it with... Uh... The logo. The logo. But the thing about it is, it's either going to be our logo or it's going to be StreamYard's logo. So, And we are not supporting them. So we Hello. can't even ghost or roast it. I couldn't really see. Uh, You know, it still wasn't exciting either way. No, it, it was a lot going on. It was a lot. Trophies. But, but he, he, he going second place the, the, the uh, intruder to death Listen, with the participation trophy. My man trophy. had a hockey stick. What did the third one have? St a camera, a phone. Because, <laughs> Stacey, I don't even know how do you swing. You know how with a hockey stick, you only get one good swing with it. Yeah, that long. Yeah. And if you ain't hitting with that first one, it's a wrap. Well, we can't even. That one was stupid. And why are you going to run back up? There y'all go again. See, last video, y'all told me, no, he only ran up the stairs because maybe he was in the basement. Da, 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 da. Or his child was up there. Why did them three boys think something was in the house and then run back upstairs? Well, they didn't see that. But they heard something knock. And they, that's what scared them when they was down on the main level right. to run back up the stairs. Stacey, you don't ever run upstairs. If somebody get in this house and you and Axel are down here, don't ever run upstairs. Yeah. You trap. You trap. I right. need you to do a one, two. And get up out the door. That's right. You need to understand all emergency exits on the main level. Are you prepared? I'm prepared. Y'all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to videotape a fire drill. <laughs> a Sprat family. If y'all want me to, to show y'all a Sprat yeah, I'm gonna do it late one night too. Everybody Come gonna on, be asleep. Man. Let's see. Go. We gotta go to the next. We gotta go to the next. <laughs> yeah, Stacy got Stacy trying to rush me, y'all. Y'all, we've been to get up out of here. I gotta go to training. <laughs> we've been to get up out of here, y'all. Y'all, love, love, love. We're gonna, we have another video. But the other video is long too. It's long. No, and I don't wanna... Let's do the last yeah. video. I was just didn't want to hear that long story you were about to tell. Let's do the last video. Yeah, see how she be talking to me. Uh... <laughs> I wanted to get to this first video. of 2024. An ambulance driver stands far away from his vehicle while sounding immensely terrified. According to the driver, he had to pull over immediately, as it was just then that something baffling had occurred. In his own words, he was driving back to base when suddenly he saw something in the back of the ambulance. Upon realizing what it was, he stops the vehicle and jumps out in a panic state. Now, due to a lack of parking, he parks the ambulance inside an alleyway, but even from a distance, he can't seem to look away from the truck. Clearly, something has left him deeply unsettled. The following is his footage. Take a look. All right, so I'm not sure how to um, how to talk about this, but well, first of all, I've been an EMT just for a little bit in. He said just for a little bit. Like, I ain't never experienced nothing like this. So, so, as we driving back to base, I swear I seen a face in the rearview mirror. Like, for, I need to turn this engine off, though, because, like, we're going to be stranded out here. Yeah, yeah. Seems possible. Is 
buddy in the bag. Everything okay? He left his phone. Now, a brother ain't leaving his phone for nothing. Ever. I don't know if you see it, but can you, can y'all see that back door? Like it, just, oh, shit. like it just flew open. Like can you? Oh. Oh. No, nah, what the? F can y'all see it? I can't see. It. Oh no, nah, hell no! Nah. Hey, nah. I saw something go across the window. It's no wonder why the EMT was immensely afraid of going back to the ambulance. Something appears to have been inside. You see Although it? we don't see a face as the EMT claims to have seen earlier, we do see what looks like a shadowy figure moving back and forth. It appears to dart from side to side, as if being stuck inside. The EMT driver thinks that whatever this was had been the culprit behind the cabinet door swinging open on its own, which he says had been the loud thump heard inside. But as for the mysterious face he'd seen earlier, that remains a mystery. Some believe that maybe this may have been the spirit of a deceased individual who unfortunately passed away inside the ambulance. While many think this, others have no idea what this could have been. Whether ghost or something else, the EMT was just glad to have someone from work pick up the truck. To this day, the question remains, just what exactly had been inside the ambulance? What you think? First and foremost, don't y'all ever send no EMT to me <laughs> that's just been on the job for a little bit. <laughs> I don't need nobody trying to save Listen, my life. He just started. Maybe the person that Stacey. was with him had been. Stacy. Babe, we got to go to roast it. I'm sorry. I got to go to training. You, you know what? You just leave. You just leave. No, don't leave. Don't leave. Don't leave me. What you doing then? You ghosting in the roasting, Stacey. I'm ghosting it. That's all. I, I'm ghosting it. Don't you ever sit down and do a ghost <laughs> of the roasted when you are on a time constraint. That is not fair to me. That is and because that is not fair to our Gore family. Let me tell you something. Nope, it don't matter, y'all. Love, he love, was not love. Ready. Ooh. When I got here, Ooh. you took another seven minutes. Ooh. You were not ready. You were on the phone with your best friend. Balloons. <laughs> Balloons. <laughs> Balloons. This is real life. Love, love, love. Y'all, this, this is a real show and this is a real relationship. And, a, and we got real life things happening. Love, love. Hi, y'all. I'm going to training. I'm going to sit here and talk to y'all for a minute. So this is, go ahead, go to your training. Can I, talk, can I talk to my friend? Can we talk about you when you leave behind your back, please? No, we're turning the camera off. Love, <laughs> bye, y'all. That ain't how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Just stop when you break.